Hey guys, it's Track, and I've gotten a lot of questions about these since I made my original review. So the Cornucopia brand, and I say that because there's a Cornucopia sticker on the side, has made some differing colors of their knockoff Nerf Rivals HIRs, or high impact rounds, or balls. I like calling them Rival Balls because it's easier and it makes a lot of sense to most people. So I want to put this into perspective and I'll do a quick recap of my original review of the yellow Cornucopia balls which were uh, a little bit too stiff and had a lot of hop ups. So these new blue ones have come out and I, I've been asked about them and I want to talk about them. So this is a genuine Nerf Rivals HIR which you can see has the Nerf logo on it kind of and they're very squishy, very soft whereas the Cornucopia yellow balls were much stiffer and can't go down quite as far. They're just not as compressible and therefore they work differently when they go through the the compressive slip in the the flywheels of the Zeus as well as through the Apollo they just don't get the same kind of seal in that little area where the balls are chambered. So the blue balls are <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to have to go with that. The The blue balls are very, very similar to the original Cornucopia yellow balls. In fact, they have almost the same compressibility now. They are a little bit softer, as you can see. I can compress them a little bit more. And I think that that might just be a batch variation because they're clearly using the same technique, the same sort of stitching in the center, so whatever mold they're using has two halves and clamps them like this and then releases. And I think that it's more or less the same foam, the same formula, and it's not performing any better. I went ahead and took some out and I loaded them into an Apollo and they performed almost exactly the same as the the yellow Cornucopia brand balls, which was of course much worse than the genuine Nerf Rival HIRs. And then in a Zeus, they actually performed even worse than their yellow counterparts, which just has something to do with the various densities. But uh, closed cell foam is not an exact science, and I'm very impressed that despite the weight inconsistencies in Rivals rounds, the genuine ones from Hasbro, they tend to perform very well across the board, and I think that that's really, really cool and very nifty. And again, you can get genuine Rivals rounds from AcademySports.com for a very reasonable price, which almost completely invalidates these Cornucopia brand balls being sold on uh, Amazon right now, at least for the time being. When they go back up to full retail, it may make more sense to look into these. But again, I would only recommend these knockoffs for very close quarters, probably indoor style battle where you don't have to worry about that hop up and the rate of fire is what's important to you. So you just want to spew ammo and therefore having less expensive ammunition is a valid reason. Um, but unlike coup starts, which tend to perform better than elites, in this case, the knockoffs tend to perform worse. So I will put a link to both the uh, Academy Sports page where I've been getting my Nerf HIRs for cheap or for an inexpensive price. And then I'll also put a link to the Amazon page where you can buy blue Nerf Rivals ammunition or the yellow knockoff ammunition. I don't recommend these currently, but since I was getting questions about it, I wanted to make a video explaining my opinions on it. I would hate for anybody to use their holiday spending budget on something that doesn't perform the way that they want it to. So thank you so much for watching my videos and being an active participant on this channel and in exchange I think that you guys have the right to know as much about this uh, this stuff as I do so thanks for watching hope it was helpful and I will catch you guys soon this was a bonus update so there should be another video today if all uploads went according to plan